Okay, my name is Leon Atkinson, and I'm a classical guitarist. And believe it or not, this is a classical harp guitar. And not just laving, putting a label on it as classical harp guitar. The builders and myself went to a lot of pains to use certain bracings to get a really good classical sound. Weights on the bridge. Real critical with picking the grain of the cedar top. Now, this is a new instru instrument to me. Maybe two weeks, I think, now. So I'm still missing notes. So I'll try not to do that too much. Well, I just want to give you an idea of the range. Start off by saying that the lowest note on this guitar is tuned to E, which is the same as the low E on a piano, 88 key piano, as opposed to the high E open or the high E up here. We have quite a range of E's. I'll just demonstrate with maybe a few scales how it comes down. I guess starting with a C scale. I'm playing in the key of C. And I can add that nice rich bass note. G. tuned down for a lot of Renaissance playing. So there's a lot of things that we can do. I'm going to play a piece that was written in 1531, I believe, by Louis Milan, actually for Vuela. And we get a little more range out of this, this guitar, the harp guitar. So it's... Not the cleanest playing, but it gives you an idea of the range of the instrument. One of the things I mentioned is it's a true classical guitar, even though it's a true harp classical guitar. The classical guitarists know the name Hauser. I was kind of raised cutting my teeth, so to speak, on the Hauser guitar. Fortunately, I studied with a gentleman in New York City. The name was Albert Valdez Blaine, and he had a very famous Hauser. A lot of people know about it, 39 Hauser. Matter of fact, Manuel Velasquez copied his guitars, his early guitars, from that 39 Hauser. I think I was 10 years old when he came in with a light bulb and lowered the strings on Albert's 39 Hauser and went in and checked out the braces. And that was 1956. And in 1957, he brought Albert his first 
Velasquez guitar, which was quite a nice one. I was lucky enough a few years ago to find a 58, only a year after the first one. But this has the house bracing of the Segovia guitar that is sitting in the Metropolitan Museum in New York. And it's 1937. And then the Tone Devil guys, Tony and Dave, were able to come up with an idea to bridge the bracing, or to connect the bracing from the lower part of the instrument into the tone arm. And I believe it was Dave, and if I'm wrong, Dave, correct me, came up with putting a, a small X brace in here somewhere. So to pick up the, the vibrations from the lower part of the guitar, to take it up into the tone arm. And I want to demonstrate a little bit for you because the A's in this instrument are just amazing. This is the normal A on the, on the normal classical guitar, fifth string. If I go down to the low A, I just play it in the key of A. And you can just hear the resonance of this instrument. D, G, C. searching for strings, but you get the idea. The Tone Devil, Leon Atkinson, model, classical harp guitar.